Rich people have small TVs and big libraries. Poor people have small libraries and big TVs. Yeah, uh, rich people literally have in-home theaters. Please stop lying. <laughs> I feel like this person thinks TVs are way more expensive than they actually are. Uh, if you go to buy a big TV, it's a lot cheaper than it used to be. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Jacob Walker to Murdered by Words, where we're gonna be looking at the best insults, comebacks, and roasts on the internet, putting them all into one, and we're getting murders by words. By words, all right, enjoy. <laughs> Do you know how many times the word woman is mentioned in the Constitution? Zero. Yeah, do you know how many times the word man is mentioned in the Constitution? Zero. So, what's your point? <laughs> Admit it, grilling is bad. Your grill is filthy, has poor temperature control, and for some idiot reason has the heating element below the food, so fat drips into it and catches fire. There's a better way to cook in your kitchen. Yeah, my favorite genre of article is, you know this thing people have famously loved for countless generations? Join me, a random white guy, in my shocking expose about how that thing objectively sucks. I haven't read the article, and I never will. I can already tell this is a guy who invites people over for a barbecue and cooks Boca burgers in the oven. <laughs> I want to know what he cooks with that cooks from above. Like, pretty much all cooking methods cook from below, right? That's how you heat things. But this guy's like, nope, no, I flamethrower from above. <laughs> See now a pride of Scott Rail train yet? Don't worry if not, it'll be wearing this design until it needs repainted in 2029. Uh, I take it you'll also be painting one in straight colors, or will we be discriminated against? Yeah, uh, straight people aren't punched in the face for holding hands with their life partner, nor are they executed in other countries simply for being straight. Please educate yourself on the matter before commenting such nonsense. State. <laughs> What would you define straight colors as, though? What, like, like black, white, gray? Just as, as boring as you can get. That, that's what it is. Disney dropped the Slave One moniker for Boba Fett's ship in a Lego set, and it appears they don't want to use the old name going forward. Okay. Disney be like, no slave words allowed. And then film Mulan beside concentration camps. Uh, <laughs> For some reason, I just imagine like Disney's like high corporate team being like, we can't name this Slave 1, let's name it Slave 2, <laughs> and then that's just what it is now. <laughs> You're either a male or female, period. This non-binary, no gender stuff is ridiculous. It all boils down to the parents putting this in their heads. Well, I have a grandchild that is non-binary. It's not easy for them to deal with it. Please do some research, then you will understand. Nothing was put in their head. It has been a long process for them. I know you are not a person to judge. It is very hard thing to understand. They feel they are not born a male or female. You were born a person. If you need any more information, please message blank or me. Love you and I can't wait to see you and your family. Oh wow, that's like a family friend. Well, that's, that's such a nice way of, like, murdering them. <laughs> we were warned as children that drug dealers might one day try to push harmful drugs on us. Apparently, most of y'all weren't paying attention. Oh, we got Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. If only you were around 50 to 100 years ago to see the devastation polio, smallpox, measles, and rubella did to children. Then, maybe you'd see the ignorance of this flagrant fantasy you've just put. Pushed. Maybe talk to an elder who lost a sibling to one of these diseases before vaccines were commonplace and saved lives. Or you could have just listened to teacher at school and saved yourself this constant embarrassment. <laughs> the problem instantly with this statement is though, we were said, oh yeah, you'll get given loads of drugs by people in the future. No one's gonna do that. Not for free. No. <laughs> I mean, there is no Good Omens 2 book. What, is it just gonna make some story up? Um, well, that was precisely how the first Good Omens was created. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like the first season of that show, so I hope they do a good one. <laughs> how do I stop my 12-year-old daughter from crying herself to sleep? I have punished her, and she still does it. Oh, wow, you're a super terrific parent. Your 12-year-old is crying herself to sleep, so you punish her. What are you, some narcissistic, empathy-lacking wretch? 12 years old can be such a hard age, 
in today's world. There is bullying, trafficking, peer pressure, homework, and we have been through an isolating pandemic. Oh, I have an idea. Change your approach. Have you asked her why she cries herself to sleep? Can you do that without yelling? Did it ever occur to you that she might be facing something you don't know anything about? Has it ever occurred to you? Hmm? Open your eyes. A 12-year-old doesn't just cry herself to sleep to help her sleep. She is obviously dealing with something causing stress and turmoil, and she may need professional help. Clearly, you can't if you can't see a problem in front of your own eyes. <laughs> if you've seen South Park, you'll like take this thing and be like, that's that's Butter's parents. Like they just ground him more and more. And they're like, why isn't it working? Why isn't it becoming better? We need to ground him even more. <laughs> How easy egocentric of us to think that space aliens who have mastered interstellar travel across the galaxy would give a crap about humans on Earth. I mean, yeah, you, you can always think about that, but I guess nobody told him we literally just sent a helicopter to Mars to look for bacteria. <laughs> We're probably on some kind of list anyway, like, don't go to this country. No, don't go to that one. It's, it's bad. <laughs> By the way, the World War II vets did not wear masks. They're men, not cowards. Masks equals enforced cowardice. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm not a historian, but I heard those freaking pussies wore helmets at Normandy. No, no, they didn't. Psh, helmets, yeah, come on, what is that gonna stop? A bullet? What? <laughs> This was a review for a local gun range. Uh-oh, it's one star. We've been getting the runaround for over two weeks, again and again, rudely giving us no information as to why they weren't able to give us the gun that we already paid for. And then today called my mother and very rudely told her that she absolutely was not going to get the gun and it couldn't possibly be for her. Why? Because she is old and a woman? Hmm? Response from the owner. Yeah, uh, your mum isn't giving you the whole story. It appears she's buying guns for her son, who, according to online court records, has a felony conviction. That's super illegal for both of them. We weren't going to post anything publicly about this, but, well, here we are. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'd much rather this woman get murdered by words than me get murdered by her convicted son, so thanks. <laughs> Noah Harley says his Alien series is not a Ripley story and will instead explore what happens when the inequality we're struggling with now isn't resolved. Filming is eyeing to begin in spring 2022. Uh, yes, inequality sucks, but does it really need to be put in an Alien series yet? Well, imagine an Alien movie about a bunch of blue-collar workers being sent to die so that a giant faceless corporation can devise a new bioweapon. Imagine if the big twist of that movie is that there's literally an android scab hiding among them. That would surely be a terrible movie. Oh, away. <laughs> Got my second shot on June 28th, and I'm feeling great. Thanks, Joe. Does it count if I identify as a vaccinated person? Well, you've identified as a dumbass from the information provided on my screen, so it's... You know, I really wish viruses worked. Like, you know, if you put on a mask, like, it was 100% effective at you not getting it. That, that would be amazing, because then anyone that didn't want to, it would just be, like, at them for risk, you know? But it's, it's not. And, and everyone, yeah, no. No. This is Where's the I'm male, I don't do the shopping vote? Ha <laughs> ha, right? Oh, in the 1950s. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all the way back then. <laughs> Always such a letdown when you meet a gifted writer and their conversation is weak. Yeah, writers are like anyone else, inspired by conversation with some people much more than others. Everyone speaks happily, wittily, jokes and laughs with someone, but it may not be with you. So, maybe Thomas is the boring one, maybe. <laughs> After a year of not being able to host events, a hobby shop started charging $15 a day for access to their eight tracks and pit facilities. I can't believe they're charging people now $30 now for myself and my grandson. Damn, that's BS. 
Oh, okay, so the owners of the business are supposed to just maintain the tracks, pay the taxes on all the land, and then let you and your grandson beat it up for free? You're not going to use the bathroom while you're there, or any of the electricity. You get that the owner has to pay insurance for you to be able to use the facility, yes? For God's sake, man, you're probably showing up with a couple hundred bucks in batteries and putting them in vehicles that are $500 plus. You picked a stupidly expensive hobby, and you're whining about $15 a head? You're taking your cheap frustrations out on the small business owner. Get out. Go run a public park if you want to play for free. <laughs> A micromotor that allows sperm with movement defects to be delivered to the egg. It seems anything is possible at this point, and it's like a little motor, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Why would you want to deliver a defective sperm though? Yeah, good point. Oh, so they can grow up and use TikTok. Aha! <laughs> I can't hate because TikTok is great, like, it's actually got so many things, but I can imagine like the company that runs it, the Chinese company, just to be doing this, just so people watch it. <laughs> Men who refer to themselves as alpha. Ah, uh, well, actually, I'm a pi male. I'm just 3.14 times better than any other male. Yeah. Translation: You're irrational and most often associated with his large circumference. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. <laughs> I am not getting the vaccine, but I'm not going on the internet and telling everyone that. It's my choice and no one else's business. It's not approved by the FDA and it's not going in my body, pure and simple. Yeah, I have bad news for you. You're on the internet and you're telling everyone that. So... <laughs> How do you type with nails that long? Also, that position does not look comfortable at all. Sit up with your back straight and damn girl, put some clothes on. Wait a sec, sit up? Look at yourself. Wait, oh, oh no. <laughs> if you like that video and you're not subscribed already, click subscribe, please, because it helps out a lot. And leave a like on the video and then click another one right there. There's two right there which you can click and watch, really. <laughs>